guess we're ready to go. Matt, did you make that catch? Yeah. Are you are you frustrated, or is it uh, still a great memory, even if it wasn't a touchdown? Or? Uh, six points would have been nice. But, yeah, see it on film. When was the last time you scored a touchdown? Uh, I don't think I've ever scored before. Really? No. Uh, maybe in the backyard playing with my brother and my cousin. That's about it. What? Um, where is this offense right now, especially the run game where it's come along with your, with your young guys? Uh, the young guys did a great job. Corbett's fighting through some, some small injuries. Uh, Adam Corey, Joey Engelmeyer, young, young guys, but know how to step up when, when, uh, when the union needs them, when, uh, when the offense needs to put drives together. Young guys step up great. Is this, is this, is this game indicative that you guys can win out that you have that you have that ability you have that talent yeah we can we can definitely uh win out it's, it's nice having some momentum going in on uh you know into, into san diego then a bye after that so we got we got some good momentum rolling um what what were you thinking when you made that catch in the end zone what was going through your mind um i was glad the drive was over because that was a long one and i was happy to have six points even though they didn't exist this, this team's played a couple of you know Pac-12 teams in here. They played some decent teams, and I don't think they've their defensive front has been handled the way you guys handled them, especially in the second half. What was your impressions of, of that defensive front coming in, and why do you think you guys were able to be so successful, especially in the second half against those guys? Uh, that was a good defensive front. You know, they were they were solid players, and you know it it, it it's a it's a it's a good mentality that the, that the union has when uh, when Hawaii's got guys running in, you know seven, eight plays into a drive, and they need, a, they need a new front. But our mentality is, you know, we're going to keep going until we get in the end zone, until we kick a field goal, have some points on the board. So uh, just the mentality of the offensive line, you know, guys working with guys like Connor and Kyle, older guys like that, it's, it's awesome because those guys are bought in. And, you know, it's almost like a mentality of, you know, if they're going to tap out, we're going to keep going. Yeah. So, You know, Rolo talked about getting the group calling plays, but – when you go and you're able to do what you do for 18, 18 plays, then the defense gets a three and out and you're right back out there. Is it also true for kind of O linemen that they also can kind of get in the groove when you're constantly out there, you know, churning up plays, being on the field a lot more than, than the other team? Yeah, I would say the same goes for going three and out. You know, if we start going three and out, it's almost like the next series where we go three and out, I, f I feel like that's kind of a constant thing. But today it was awesome because we had a 13 play drive, 16 play drive. I mean, someone even was saying we might have had an 18 play drive or something like 19 plays. So I mean, that just kind of it kind of helps, you know. It's you talk to the guys in the huddle. It's like, all right, we're in this for the long haul, you know. Like, be ready to put a drive together. So everyone buys in, and it's awesome. You were out there so many plays in the second half. Did you get tired at all? Oh, oh my God! <laughs> I thought I was gonna have a heart attack. I. Uh, it's nice to have guys like Cody pick me up though. Yeah talking to me the whole game, you know, like encouraging me and stuff. But, you know, our mindset, we're not going to give up. So it's a good game. Appreciate it, man. Thank you. Awesome. Thanks, Thanks a lot. Yeah. Um, well, you guys only got behind 10 nothing today. I assume you felt really comfortable at that point. You know, that's what we said in, uh, in at halftime. I think we were down six at that point, And we're like, hey, we've been down worse. Second half team, uh, we've been in that situation before. And, and guys were pretty confident. Um, what? What changed? Uh, it seemed like they were shutting down the interior <laughs> run game a little bit. You guys kind of stretched it out. I think it was just we didn't give up. Uh, our offensive line did a tremendous job all night uh, protecting me and, and blitzes. We were gashing, you know, six, seven yards on a good Hawaii defense. So, you know, I'm proud of the guys up front. A lot of guys battling through injury. And, and you know, this was a tough team win. Is, is there anything to take from last week's run effort, this week 300 yards, five yards of carry? What should we take from that? <laughs> Just that the offensive line's playing really well. You know, they've kept me pretty healthy. Um, I, don't, I think there's one sack on the first play. Other than that, they did a, a tremendous job, like I said. And, you know, this win came from the union. The union did a, a heck of a job. And, you know, we're going to go as far as they want to take us. You, you ran so many plays in the second half. Did you get a sense at all that you'd really kind of worn down that defense? Yeah, I think, uh, you know, our, our quick stuff, we call it our blur package. Uh, got them in some situations where they weren't ready, and we, we kind of gashed them a few times. And so our tempo is pretty good, and you know we're used to elevation, so coming down to sea level helps us out tremendously. Yeah. 
Anything you figured out on that drive late in the first half where I think you've been shut out to that point? I think it was just confidence. <laughs> the fact that we got a uh, sustained a drive, you know, we got it going and, and offensive guys started to believe a little bit. We went into halftime with a little bit of confidence, which, which was great for us. Um, the uh, catch by Gallus, what did you think of that? I think he deserved it. Uh, I don't know how they didn't rule that a touchdown. Um, we've, I've been trying to fight for him to get a touchdown all year, and that was his chance. Unfortunately, they took it away from him. So you're going to try to try to devise a run play for him? Maybe or if we can do it. I don't think he has eligible yeah. numbers, so it's going to be tough. Did you see Sebastian Tratola? I did. Yeah, I did. That time. went because oh, we. I mean, the time difference is so different. Yeah. So everyone was texting the whole thing, and it was pretty big on on ESPN. Um, he's he's throwing it. You like where this team is right now? I, I really like where this team is. It's. It was a great team win. Defense stepped up. Um, offensive line played tremendous. Our front seven on defense was chasing after the quarterback. You know, the guys have a good mindset. This is my fourth trip to Hawaii. I know how tough it is to come to Hawaii and play, especially being one of the youngest teams uh, in the nation, I think, is one of the stats. And guy, for guys to do that and to buy in, it's pretty special. You know, I, I don't think Kaepernick ever won out here. Well, that's good. This second win out here, which is pretty good uh, for me. Um, like I said, it's, it's tough to win out here. Hawaii's a whole different team at home, and they got a lot of things going for them, and that was a good Hawaii football team.